right, fishermen. I got this bag of quality pins that we're throwing out. And what I'm going to do is make a fishing bait out of these. So I'm going to break off this back part, snap that off, drill a hole into that end there, and drill a hole on this back end. I'm going to add two of these together, put a swivel in between them so they spin a little bit, connect up here, put a treble hook back here, add a little skirt, and see if I can't catch a bass or a northern off these. Here's our quality pin. So let's uh, see if we can't take this off. And then let's see if we can't break this pin off here. Here's my two pins. I snapped the backs off. I think maybe I'll grind those down just a little bit to make them smooth. And then we'll get our holes in them. Let's hit that with a grinder real quick and get that smoothed off. So we got two of them done. We'll get two more done. We're going to make two baits. Again, these were just uh, quality pins. Committed to quality. We'll see if the fish are committed to quality. Let's put a couple holes in these guys now. There's one hole, and let's get the other one just the opposite here. All right, that should work. Let's get the rest of them done. We got our four pins with our holes drilled now. Now it's just putting a swivel on there in the middle and on the top, and then a treble hook on the bottom. Put a little skirt on it and try some fishing. All right, now we have uh, our rings on so that we can put a swivel in between them. We've done that. We've put a treble hook on the end, and we'll put a steel leader on the front here because we don't know if we're going to catch bass or northern with this. Next thing I want to do is I want to put a skirt on over this, so I'll probably go with a white or a yellow skirt. Now we've added our spider legs, which is just rubber and thin strips. The spider legs, we put them through this ring right here. We wrapped this with thread, and then we took 5-minute epoxy and covered that thread so it won't come loose in the water. Now, give you a closer look. We took the skirt, the rubber legs, we put them through that ring. Then we tied thread around where the top of the hook is. We epoxied that thread. Now we'll separate those legs that rubber and make a skirt. If we do that, we'll trim off the length of this skirt so they're both equal length and just past the bottom of that hook. All right, we've got our uh, quality pin lure bait finished. We cut the skirts off equal length. We then separated each rubber strand. Now all we got to do is get this on a rod and get it on the water and see if we can't catch a fish with it. It's real shallow and rocky in here, fishing for smallmouth. Fishing bait cost me nothing but a treble hook.